Here at Tormach, we want to tell your stories. So here's, well, this is a former Mythbuster and BattleBots enthusiast, Grant Imahara. Hi, my name is Grant Imahara, and I'm a robot builder, a former Mythbuster, and current consultant for Disney. I started out with all the basic machine tools, like, uh, you know, I've got a Bridgeport mill, I've got a giant lathe, but I didn't have CNC technology. So I asked a bunch of my friends, I'm like, well, if I wanted to get into CNC, should I retrofit my Bridgeport? I've already got a mill, you know, should I do something like that? Throw some stepper motors on, get a controller, and, and off I go. And all of them who have a lot of experience said, no way. Do not do that, you will hate it. Get yourself a, a CNC mill, something that's dedicated. I'm like, well, why? And the simple answer is, sometimes you, you want to have your CNC set up be your CNC setup. And sometimes you have to, I don't know, just go in and do one or two things. That you'll do on your mill. You just walk up to your mill, you do that. If you want to run CNC parts, you do that. And I started looking online, and that's when I found Tormach. Once I got the Tormach in my shop, I'm like, okay, what should I, <laughs> what, can I, what can I make with this machine, which makes machines? When I saw at Star Wars Celebration, they brought out a rolling BB-8 character on stage. At that moment, I knew I had to have my own BB-8. And so I thought, that is a project I'm going to start, the Tormach. And not only that, I will machine every part that I use on the Tormach. So all the things that I designed, I would make myself. And that way, I could put this thing to use. One of the things about the BB-8 project is I wasn't really happy with most of the drive systems out there. And so, you know, me having the experience that I have and the skills that I have said, okay, well, I think I'm just going to roll my own. I'm just going to design my own drive. And that, I think that's the fun part. Working out the head gimbal was, uh, and it's kind of an XY problem along with the rotate. The pendulum, you know, you're swinging it back and forth. And the gimbal needs a certain amount of space. Because basically, I'm moving a rectangle through space that has a servo connected to it, and then BB-8's dome is on top of that, moving over the surface of the sphere. And so all these things have to not crash into each other. When I first started running the CNC machine, my first experience with CNC at ILM, I had a mentor, and I think that's really the best way. What he instilled in me was the vigilance of watching this machine because it will do exactly what you tell it to do you know and so he like walked me through all of this and instilled in me that that discipline that you have to have for the first pass and once you have validated your part and you're sure that you're not gonna for some dumb reason which i i had done at industrial light and magic crash the head right through rapid and right through a part almost into a vice once you have that program validated and you know that you're not going to crash, that's where the fun begins. I'm in the middle of a bunch of building things and upgrading. Um, I'll walk you around this way. Oh, my, my toolbox from Mythbusters. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, there There's is. my Tormach. <laughs> when I used to work on Mythbusters, the executive producer said, that looks kind of plain. There weren't any labels on them. Can you just label them? Like, you know, what do you want them to say? He goes, ah, whatever. So I said, oh, whatever. <laughs> and so you get flux capacitors, arc reactor parts, antimatter, every, every sci-fi reference I could think of. When I was working at Mythbusters, we had our own shop called M7. And for 10 years, pretty much I was the primary user of this mill. And so when we, we were leaving the show and they were shutting down M7, they're like, what should we do with it? <laughs> and I said, I think you should sell it to me. And so I bought it. And so 
This is now my mill for a very good price. And of course, the crowning jewel, my Tormach 770, with the tool change system, which I greatly appreciate. And yeah, I, I've made trash cans full of chips. And that's really good when you see go, and it's like this, this rooster tail of, of chips just flying off of this thing. Uh, the only bad part about that is you gotta go and scoop them all out. You know, it's, it's all part of the process. For me, the most complicated and most satisfying thing that I built for myself was my BattleBot Dead Blow in the late 90s, 1999. The satisfaction of seeing something that I thought up, that I designed uh, and built, um, I think that's, it's incredible. There's no better way to learn than to think about a problem and say, let's try it. Let's see if it's possible and you learn. So that's it. Check out all of our latest videos here. And for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.